What up, what up? What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Guys on DJ, aka God in the Wax. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bring you another video. So, this time I wanted to talk about my current setup. So, basically, uh, you know, I had the Teenage Engineering KO2 uh, for a minute when it came out. And uh, one day I plugged in the USB from my computer to the device uh, to give it power and also to use the web browser based sample tool uh, that it comes with. And I heard a loud pop sound. After that, the main output on the unit um, was very low volume, like so low that I couldn't even work with it. And then eventually the, the, the output went out completely. So I returned it from where I got it from for a full refund. I was kind of bummed about that, but I'm definitely not getting another one because I don't trust the build quality of Teenage Engineering after the whole situation with the faders and the speakers and the batteries and things like that. Whatever was going on, on on with that unit, it took a minute for it to occur. So uh, I just don't trust the build quality of Teenage Engineering's devices anymore. I'm sure there are other things like the Op1 Synth and the OP1 Field or whatever it's called are probably decent. But this uh, KO2 has way too many issues going on with it. And I wouldn't trust buying another one and having it go out on me two months down the road, six months down the road, whatever the case may be. So I'm just cool with that. I got the MPC Live 2 here. Uh, and I sold my uh, SP404 Mark II today. Uh, you know, I had the 404 Mark II, and the main reason I was using it was as a mobile beat making device. Uh, it was pretty cool for that. At the time I had, I was really in love with it. Uh, but with the Live 2, you know, it has a battery in it as well, and I can take it on the road with me or take it mobily with me, and there's no issues there. Uh, and the Live 2 is way better than the SP404 Mark II in terms of the, the screen, the full touch screen, full color touch screen. Uh, you know, the MPC DAW in a box software, the MPC 2.0 software on this unit is way better than that little OLED screen or the, 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 uh, the OS or the graphical user interface on the SP404 Mark II. Uh, you can just do a lot more with it. There's more plugins and things like that, more. I mean, there's effects on the uh, SP404 Mark II, which are pretty dope. But this also has its own effects. Uh, uh, so it just seemed like, you know, the SP404 Mark II wasn't going to get used anymore pretty much. Uh, so I'm pretty content with this unit right here as my primary beat making unit. You know, it's got the RCA phono ends for hooking my turntable up to it. Uh, it's got MIDI ins and outs with regular MIDI cables. I got USB-A ports to plug in different things. I got my audio interface plugged into this, my Tascam Model 12. Uh, I got an MPC-1, which I'm also going to sell. Now, I sold the uh, SP404 Mark II today, but I'm also, like I said, I think about selling the MPC-1 as well. Either I'm going to give it to my homeboy or, or maybe sell it to him at a very low rate or just give it to him. We'll see how things go. But uh, if I do sell it, I'll probably sell it to a private seller as well uh, just to... Uh, get the most of my money for it uh and, and pass it on to somebody who can uh you know get some enjoyment out of it i did request from akai for them to remove it out from my in music profile so uh whoever gets it next can you know register the npc one and use it uh you know like a new device and register it and get the downloads and things like that so uh hopefully they take care of that this early this week or whatever but uh yeah, I'm pretty happy with the MPC Live too. Like I said, it's mobile. It's got the battery in it. The battery lasts a decent amount of time. Uh, also have a backup battery that I was using with the MPC One for a while, and I can use it with this as well. And the same My Volts 19 volt rip cord cable. Uh, if I needed to charge this for some reason, I could do that uh, with my little you know power bank. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm good as far as uh, you know my music making equipment i'm just kind of strip it down so i got the mpc live 2 uh for my keyboard i got the mpk mini plus which is a 37 key uh, midi keyboard got eight pads on it uh some knobs some uh you know endless knobs so it's not uh you know they they continuously turn 360 degrees uh it's got the uh octave plus and minus you know it's pretty much an mpk mini plus uh, um, MVK Mini on steroids, you know. It's got 37 keys, like I said. Uh, so that's my keyboard. And then I have the Roland Gaia 2 to my left. Uh, or not Roland Gaia 2, the Roland Gaia, 
just a regular ruling guy one uh it's a synthesizer but it can also function as a midi keyboard as well so those are the two midi devices i have plugged in here the rolling Gaia and the mpk mini plus uh, but the Gaia has its own onboard sounds that you can play with so you don't necessarily need a plug-in synthesizers and things like that you know, the npc plugins are pretty dope but the ruling guy can produce his own sounds which i can feed into the npc one via the Tascam model 12. uh so yeah I'm pretty, like i said i'm pretty content with this setup and i think i'm gonna rock with it uh for the time being uh yeah i'm gonna kind of give an update on my setup uh you know, look forward to me making more and more new music i'm, I'm working on some things and Tracklib, as you know, recently made a new thing where so you were paying thirteen ninety nine, and you could, and they gave you a certain amount of credits every month. Uh, you know, one credit gets you one song to download a song off their site. And I've kind of stacked up a lot of credits, so I got like a thousand credits almost because I haven't, you know, I don't download songs off there very often. And uh, you know, I just stacked up a lot of credits over the time that I've had uh, the subscription. So. But what they did recently was before you would have to pay money like fifty dollars for a certain uh level like a c license or d license level you pay fifty dollars to use the license and to clear the sample that you use from the song that you downloaded from there or like for an a license it might be a hundred dollars that you might have to pay to clear the sample but now what they've done for like c i think for d c and d licenses uh if you pay a dollar more so instead of 13.99 you pay 14.99 you get unlimited sample clearances, which is pretty crazy, which is pretty dope, right? So uh, any of the songs, which a lot of the songs are at the C level on their website, uh, you know, once you download the song, you chop it up, you, you pull a sample from it and you use it in your song, uh, you just go into the site and register the song, you know, use DistroKid, BMI, whatever you do, how you gotta do it, you know, and uh, get, this, get the song going and register the work with BMI, you know, do your thing with DistroKid to distribute it, and then it's pretty much included. The license is free from Tracklib now, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, that that news and that, that announcement or that, uh, you know, a new feature from Tracklib, along with the upcoming stems uh, from MPC or from Akai for the MPC standalone, uh, it's pretty good news. Uh, I'm looking forward to stemming out a lot of the tracks that I see on uh, Tracklib that I can't, that don't have them. Because some, some of the tracks on Tracklib have multi-track, which is, you know, they have the bass, the piano, the wood wood instruments, uh, the bass, uh, you know, the piano. They have, they have it already stemmed out, kind of, uh, but a lot of them don't have that on them. So they're just one song, and, you know, it has drums and, and bass and all kind of things in the song. So being able to use Akai stems will help me with those songs and I can stem them out and use them in my beats, get rid of the drums, maybe isolate the vocals, whatever it is I wanna do, and I'll be able to use it in my music moving forward. So I'm um, looking forward for Akai to release that NPC standalone stems uh, functionality. I can't wait for that to come to fruition. Hopefully it's within the next few months here. I've been waiting patiently, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy, uh, you know, beat making and making music. Uh, looks very bright on the horizon, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with it. But anyway, uh, that's it for the video. I just kind of want to give a quick update on my music making situation. Uh, I'll try to post more videos on the channel coming up soon, and just keep you updated with what's, what's going on. Maybe talk a little bit more about the NBC Live too, even though it's been talked about to death on uh, YouTube. But you know, just give my opinions and show what I'm doing with it and how I'm using it. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.